important to get a good water sample. So for that, you want water that hasn't been aerated. Use the foster adapter that comes with your H2O. Fill up a bowl or a bucket of water. Submerge your bottle and put the tube into the bottle so that you can fill up the bottle with water that has not been aerated. After your bottle is filled, put the cap, the, the deceptor on it, and now you're ready to test your water for radon. Now we have our 250 milliliter sample that we're going to test. You could have also used a 40 milliliter sample. For lower levels of radon, you're better off with the larger sample. This is our drying tube, and this will be going to the Rad7 inlet. From the outlet of the RAD7, the air from the outlet will go through the one-way valve, through the aerator cap, into the frit, which will aerate the water. This is the, the um, tubing length for the 250 milliliter bottle. Now we're gonna set up the RAD7 to, to, to do um, a 250 milliliter radon in water test. Go to menu. Go to setup, enter, and for the protocol, because this is a 250 milliliter bottle, we're going to watt 250. And hit enter. We can, in setup, you can set the format to what you want, but short would probably be just fine. So now it's ready, we're gonna we're not gonna hit the enter yet, but we're ready to start once we have attached our bottle. We'll take the cap off of our water sample. We'll screw it on. I'm gonna lower the clamp down so that it rests. securely. Now we're gonna hit, we have our start, we're gonna hit start. And now the air from the Rad7 is going into the water sample and aerating it. This will continue on for five minutes. Now the water has been aerated for five minutes and because we're in a closed loop, we're going to the inlet from the outlet here all the radon is in this loop and now the rad 7 will be counting you can see the counts happening it's in grab mode watt 250 now the rad 7 has run four five minute cycles with the air that was in the closed loop and printed out a summary as you can say it says good night so at this point um you can download your da data or if you have other samples to run, unhook the tubing from the RAD7, hook it up to a lab dryer, and just dry, purge any of the old radon out of the chamber and make sure that the RH is down to 5% before you rehook these tubes back up and put a new fresh water sample in and repeat this process.